If you have a citation or know what you're looking for, the following module shows you how to see if the library owns a book or journal article. In this example, my professor has recommended this paper to me, and I want to check some of the references cited by these authors to find more material on my topic. So now I'm going to go to the end of the article and look at the references. One requirement of my assignment is to find a book on my topic. So when I look at the list of references, how can I pick out a book? One clue is that books always have the publisher and place of publication listed, so I know this third citation, Self-Efficacy, is a reference to a book. Now I want to see if the library owns this book. To do that, I can copy the title, go to the library's homepage using the Books and Media tab, change it to a title search, and paste in the title of the book. When I run the search, I can see that the library does own the item. Now I've returned to the list of references and I'm going to look for a journal article. I know this is a journal article because it's got the uh, journal title and it's got volume and page numbers. So I'm copying the title of the article. I'm going to return to the library's homepage. This time I'm going to use the Articles tab and I'm just pasting in the title of the article. In this case, it works great. We found the article right away. Now I've returned to the list of references and I'm going to use the same strategy to see if we own this article by Slanger, published in 1997. So I'm pasting the article title into the quick search box, but this time I got no hits. That does not mean that the library does not own the item. The quick search box only searches across seven of the library's hundreds of library databases and holdings. To check another way, you can see if we have access to the Journal of Research and Personality. So I've returned to the library's homepage and instead of using the Articles tab, I'm going to use the Books and Media tab and change it to a journal title search and paste in our journal title and I can see that we do have access to the Journal of Research and Personality in both print and online. So I'm going to use online access. This screen shows you the databases that have your journal electronically. In this case, there's just one choice, ScienceDirect. So now I'm connecting to the electronic version of the Journal of Research and Personality. And there are several ways you can search here. You could go to the um, date of 1997. You could paste in the article title here. But I'm going to use Slanger because that's a rather unique last name. And it does indeed bring up the article. So you have electronic access to that. So we've used several search methods to find a reference. We looked for a book by title using the library's catalog or the Books and Media tab. We found a journal article by title using the Quick Search for Articles tab. And when the Quick Search for Articles tab did not work for finding a journal article, we looked for the journal title under the Books and Media tab and found the electronic version of that journal. You should now know how to check to see if the library owns a book or journal article. You can use this skill anytime you have a citation or a list of references you want to use to further your research. If you're having problems locating an item, don't hesitate to ask for help by chat, email, or phone. And if the library does not own an item that you need, you can request it through interlibrary loan.